first glance, it would appear that the EOD does nothing more than blow things up. But that's only half the story. The soldiers uh, are going to get out of this training uh, essentially the capabilities of some of the tools at their disposal. If our guys are trained to be able to protect this installation, front gates from threats either coming to the gate, through the gate, once it's been, once it's been in place, our training to mitigate terrorist threats, whatever they may be, large or small, this type of training uh, is obviously the, the, larger, the larger end of the scale. So if our guys know how to, how to defeat large devices, small devices, it ultimately keeps the installation and, and all of our government interests safer. The 74th EOD are performing demolition and familiarization with various explosive devices, getting very valuable hands-on experience. The kind of experience that can protect our forces and potentially save lives. It's realistic training. You know, not a lot of people get to work with demolition materials, uh, and it's, it's a lot different when you're doing it in real life than it is whenever you're reading it out of a book. So. Real, real training is the best training, and I'm sure a lot of people would agree with that. Being able to see what's actually happening is, you know, the best training you can get. It's, it's real, so you know whether it's going to work or not. Reporting from Skillfield Barracks, I'm Sergeant Jesse Antelon.